Okay, um, we're out here at Greg Tarlin's house. This is Bubby on B Source. And uh, there he is. Hello. And he called me today at work and said, This is the top bar hive that we installed the 19th, the 9th of April from a swarm I caught at my house. And we put them in here, and obviously we didn't give enough room. So today's the second. And he called me at work and said they had swarmed. We knew they had built out about 14 bars and uh, we and we put some empty bars in a, a little less than a week ago but obviously it wasn't enough for him so he called me today it's been rainy real windy a lot of water out here and uh, he called me and said that his bees were swarming at what time one o'clock 12 o'clock noon so I took off home he couldn't see where they had gone to from where he he was and so he thought they were in a cedar tree I came out here and found them in the cedar tree right back here you see the ladder and the box underneath there. So I came over here and we're gonna take it from over there and install them in a eight frame medium Langstroth hive. Okay, um, he called me and I came out here and looked at this cedar tree. He thought they had come around here somewhere. He could see them congregate, but couldn't see them from where he was. And I came out and there was a, a clump of bees about seven feet up right here on cedar branches. Probably, I don't know, a three pound clump, about like a package, I guess, sitting up there. So. I went and got a bait hive that we have and I put it on the ladder and put it right underneath it, climbed up, snipped off all the empty branches, the extra branches around there and then gave them a good shake and caught them in the bait hive that was sitting on the, the little shelf on the ladder. And they dropped straight in there, went all over the place and, um, but I could tell as soon as I set it on the ground, the queen was in there, bees started, I, I put the top on and left a small crack, about an inch crack down the side. And uh, you could tell immediately the queen was in there. The bees were going, all of them were headed in, a lot of them in there, but everybody was focusing in on that. So this is about an hour and a half later. Well, it's, uh, it's five o'clock. So about two hours later after I got him in here, probably, I got it. We've come back over here to his house and you can see they're all in the hive, in the bait hive. That's the napkin I stuffed in there to keep him in there when I first shook him in. And we're going to take them back up to the hives over there. You can pan around over there and put them in one of those empty lanes. The, the blue lane has a package we installed the 20th and the green one's empty. So we're going to put the swarm in there and then figure out what to do with the nuke he's ordered. That's not here yet. Okay, so here we go. Take the box. All the bees are in here. There's hardly any flying around. We're going to put them in a, the single bottom box. And I've got some frames up here. And we'll get rid of that top box. Let me grab the frame. We just put foundation in all of these and we'll stick them in here. Got a couple of them here. We're going to put two on the outside and two on the inside. This is an eight, eight frame box and so we're going to leave the middle open. We're going to take the swarm box, the bait hive, open it up, put them in there and then we're going to set the frames back on top and let them work their way up around them. So. I'm going to put on some gloves because I'm a chicken. This is sleeping. I don't know. What do you think? I don't think it's going to matter. Here we go. Okay, here they are. This is the first time we've opened them up since we put them in there, like I said, an hour and a half ago. You can see they're already hanging off the top. We'll give those a shake. Put them down in there. Give them a drop. Pour them in here. And that is a bunch of bees.
Very good. So you can see we got we got a few left in here, but not many. And we'll know pretty fast we have the queen in there because they'll. I would say we do because there's already bees coming in around it. They're not even down. They're already all up in the frames. So I'm going to ease this in. Not smash anybody. Now they've all just come up in the frames completely. Just let it down real easy so anybody's under there has a chance to get out. Tell they're not aggressive at all. They've they've eaten like crazy and filled up with honey out of their old hive. And all they want to do is have a place to build some combs. So we did that. Try to slide those back over. A lot of bees. Kind of give them room to get out of the sides in here when you move them over you can see them down in here i don't know if you can see that but they're still over there and if i just ease it in a little bit make it too tight for them there it goes same here we got bees in there you can feel a you can feel a bee down in there if you don't smash them if it doesn't go up there you got one in there give them some room he'll get out as soon as he can. And it's harder with gloves, but I'm not good enough at it yet to take them off. So there we go. Got them put in here. We got a few more in here that I'll, I'll try to shake out, but I don't know if it will do any good. I mean, these are about the same ones that were in there a while ago. This is a feeder right here that, that Greg got from Brushy Mountain. It's just a, a wooden feeder on top, but it has a screen on it so the bees can come up from underneath through the screen and down inside here where you have your sugar water. They can't get over in this part and they have the screen to climb on on both sides to, to not drown. Come over and feed. So you can put a whole lot of food in here and, and they can't drown in it. Or many, many won't. We'll show that one before we leave. But, so we're going to go ahead and put that on. Try not to smash anybody. And we just smashed somebody. everybody a chance to get out of the way and I heard one more smash but that's not bad and that's it we'll put our top cover on here leave the inner cover off there they are ready to go uh, while well, you got it filming this is a this is one of the packages we started last week or the 20th and here's the feeder inside so it's almost out of food it looks like it's also a good hive beetle trap. But, it's almost, but you can see that they're, the bees are really... A lot of them up in there eating on it. Okay, we're back here. We've taken, we've got an eight frame medium box. We've, we've got the foundation ready in it. Put in there. It's a little break in that one, but got them stuck in here. We're gonna open this up, this blue hive. This is the one we, we just now put a swarm in here an hour ago. And we're gonna take this, they've built this hive out to the to uh, seven and a half sides of the frame. So they have half a frame to go and they're working on it. So it's time to add more to the top. Give them room to move up. Here's the, huh? They've been in here 12 days and they've built out that far. This is a three pound package we installed on the 20th. 
and they've they've built it out. It's time to move them. This is the, the feeder on top. You can see there are, all the bees are inside that. And I'm just going to take that off and set it right here. Take this box. Uh -uh. Put it on top of here. And they've got a second story to move up into now. You see down th if you see down through the top here, you can see that these frames on top line up with the frames below and they've got a column all the way up between each one of them that's going to be open all the way up to the feeder now. So they'll gradually come up into here and start building out these. And this will, this will end up being our brood nest. I'm going to put this on before I get stung. And now they can't get out the top anymore. And that'll be our, this will become our brood nest. Once they build that out, the next, the next box we add on top of that is going to be for honey storage, and that'll be for the bees. And then if we get, if they build it out, fill it, fill it full of honey, then the next box on top of that's going to be ours. So this will be enough for them to get through a Tennessee winter, one, one full box of honey. Uh, we've got some sugar water over here by the beer bottle. And we're going to take it. And this is one to one sugar water. And we're gonna, you can see this is just about empty. We're gonna pour it in here. They're scrambling out of the way, crawling up the screens. And we're gonna fill it up. We're gonna put this whole two gallons of sugar water in there. You can see they're floating in here on the sugar water. The ones that were down on the bottom when I poured it in, but they'll, they'll grab hold of the, the screen on each side and crawl up and now they have this access back down through into the hive so they can come up and feed and go back down nothing can come in from up here and after that we'll put the top on and they're ready to go we hope in a, another couple weeks they'll have this built out and be ready for another box what you want to do is is uh, on, a, on an eight frame box, you wanna let the bees build out the center two, uh, the center six frames, and then the two on the outside, when, they're, when they start on those, it's time to add another box. If you don't, they're gonna feel cramped, and I guess you're gonna have to worry about swarming. They're not gonna feel like they have enough room, so. So we've just done that, and uh, we're ready to go. We'll come back and check this in a few days. We just installed the swarm in here. They're full of honey since they swarmed, they're going to be they're prepared to build some comb and they're going to build this hive out way faster than they did this package so they're going to build this out super fast we're not well we are going to put a feeder on them too and then we're uh, going to come back and check them quicker than they did these and and we hope in four or five days they have this thing built out where it's ready to put a box on and it's, it should catch this one catch up with this one and hopefully pass it in just a few days so we're going to take this off Same thing, same type feeder. Oh, we're just gonna fill the feeder up, aren't we? Yeah. I forgot, I was thinking we we're gonna add something to it, so. Get, the feeder. Get off the beer bottle, Bob. Those feeders came from Better B, I think. Oh, did they? Oh, I'm sorry, I said earlier in another video that the feeders came from Brushy Mountain. The feeders came from Better B, the, the hives came from Brushy Mountain, so they're designed to fit on a, a Brushy Mountain eight frame hive if there's any difference in in manufacturers this is they they exactly fit this so better be put some in here and i wouldn't be surprised if they didn't eat that that much two gallons and what how fast they've been going through this a couple days yeah, three days man. three days for two gallons Come and they eat it up Right, right. He said, he said well, you've read online about people complaining about this type of top, this type of top feeders that they drown a lot of bees. Uh, they must be talking about a different kind than these because the way the cage comes over and back down into the feeder, the bees just have that area to feed in, and we found two drowned bees since we put them on there, which is completely acceptable. This is Steve B signing off.